Hello traders, welcome to this session how to scalp and day trade the e-mini and micro e-mini futures markets. I just thought I'd turn the camera on for a moment. I was actually preparing a training session for my members and I just thought I'd uh, also perhaps record a few things for the general public, the general trading community that see my videos on YouTube. Traders, I've been doing this now for over 27 years. You don't have to do this and this is what I do full time day trading and researching and developing trading systems over many many years meaning let me save you a small fortune in money uh, the, the investment that so many traders make but most importantly in time so what I'm going to show you today um, can totally change your career it can totally change your life forever but what I need you to do is to be open-minded to the possibility now for the experienced traders because over 75 percent of the traders that join me are experienced traders I'm going to share with you some ideas that you can pick up immediately and immediately implement and improve your trading now I will try to keep this to about 30 minutes and uh, I'm not going to be able to get everything covered in the one video but traders stay with me because I promise this can change your life forever there's no need to spend thousands of dollars mastering the art of day trading as you're about to see I'm going to save you a lot of time and a lot of money so let's get back to this now first of all I do need to pull up the disclaimer there is a risk in trading don't trade with the rent money uh, make sure that you are uh, trade using the simulator and because you are uh, before you go live and because you are watching the recording you can pause the recording to read the disclaimer in full and a very very quick um, adv um, advertisement here <laughs> I'll get this over and done very quickly you can go to my website and actually I shouldn't even call this one an advertisement this is a huge bonus for you, you can download my free training manual uh, there's a link down there but my staff will send you the link and no you're not gonna have a telemarketer ring you so don't worry um, to download my manual and I've also got uh, another ebook quite detailed the truth about day trading and even better still let me get this over and done with for $197 everything I'm going to show you today you can have okay all of my indicators all of my strategies it's the most comprehensive program let me say it in the world there is nothing else like it if you go and visit my website and you go and, uh, and look at the videos on what you receive there's nothing else like it I have over 200 uh, monthly members in my coaching room I've got over 8,000 owners you know and what and I'll still have some people say the strategies don't work because no idea will work unless you're willing to do the work and so you're about to see as I'm about to show you I'll disclose to you some of the strategies that you learn with me okay end of advertisements let's get into this first of all there are many different types of charts that you can use now the strategies I show you even though specifically today I'll be talking about trading the futures markets you can apply these to Forex the charts are exactly the same um, I, I look for this I know the volatility is different at times but the principles are the same if you're day trading stocks you can apply the exact same strategies to stocks now I am going to be looking at Renko charts today you can apply to time based charts tick volume and range now my favorite quite frankly are tick based charts and Renko but if you're used to trading time based charts what I show you is um, uh, just as applicable now I'm going to mainly focus talking to you today about trend following we might talk about a couple of CT counter trend trades as well because there's a couple of beauties today but we're going to focus on trend trading if you're a brand new trader or if you're a trader that has been struggling up to now we've got to get you back to the basics in fact if we look at some of my setups let's just quickly look at this here when I train a trader and if you become a member you actually learn many different setups okay but you only focus on one or two and I tell you what they are initially because basically we've got to trade for all sorts of markets and all sorts of trading conditions okay so our best the best of the best are for an example your 34b and what we call the 2b 
you start with those because as you're about to see they're easy to learn and they kick butt day in day out very important but there's many different setups because you'll get a change in market direction you'll have a market that's consolidating etc but what's really important is simplicity and as I actually said initially in the very first um, uh, slidey success is always in simplicity and unfortunately so many people treat trading as like rocket science they never pick it up or they become confused now in this book trend following how great traders make millions in up or down markets there's another really good one by Robert Miner and in this particular book Robert talks a lot about trading and really the whole book is based about using higher time frames momentum now I'm going to be showing you how I use three time frames however if you're a brand new trader you start with two and you expand over a period of time because as I state here as traders we're like surfers waiting for the perfect wave the perfect wave is when the lower and the higher time frames all confirm our trade it dramatically improves your probability unfortunately most traders will just work off an entry chart a lower time frame where what we want to be doing is waiting for a pullback on the lower time frame and trading in the direction once we have a trend continuation now before we get to this today we're going to look at trading the micro e minis and uh, this video was recorded uh, in July 2020 now 2019 the CME introduced the micros and one of the greatest um, uh, changes really advancements for trading now what I'm about to show you just if you're trading say the Forex market just assume you're trading micros okay a micro um, uh, futures contract or a mini I should actually say a mini futures contract a mini Forex contract get this out right traders my videos are always raw real and unedited okay so what is really important you've got to have a target an income target something magical happens when you put your target down in writing and I'm going to show you because I want to motivate you to take action and show you the steps to get there right so you've got to have a dream and there's always a way if you're committed so how are we going to earn 1,000 to 10,000 well first of all very quick background here if we're looking at the micro MES or or micro NQ the micro mini ES is a dollar 25 per tick down from $12.50 it's 10 percent of the big contract but also means you can start trading with a lot less money so even if you got five ten twenty fifty thousand dollars start with a micro or a mini and you build from there okay as you're creating success it's so much easier to lay the right foundation the NQ it's 50 cents a tick and I'll show you what that means in a moment for the sake of this exercise uh, I'm going to say you need to have $1,700 now before some of you jump up and down well hang on I can trade micros with only a couple of hundred dollars or minis I should you have a micro minis uh, yes you can however we need to consider our risk okay we never ever um, uh, risk any more than 2% now it, it, you can trade with less but also sometimes like right now some brokers require you have a larger margin because of the volatility in the market now as far as broker commissions anywhere from 80 cents round turn to 250 in this case we're going to allow two dollars now in the following example we start with seventeen hundred dollars and when we double that that's right double it when we're going to start trading using the markets money this is a very conservative long-term secure approach to trading if you approach this market with greed you'll lose your money it's very important you approach it from a point of view I'm in this for the long term now once we hit 3400 as you're about to see you start trading two contracts once your account hits 17,000 you you could actually then start trading a large contract now we can have much smaller stop losses etc so the experienced traders stay with me on this one I'm assuming here that you're using a very wide stop 
normally when we day trade we'd have an even smaller stop but this is great for a traders that want to approach it very conservatively so what's the effect of this so here I've got a little table here you could be trading the micro or yes the NQ you can even trade the Dow or the Russell my uh, micro now and here we're targeting $50 a day net I will show you in a moment how we're going to do that now sorry I'm just picking up a chart here that I normally have on my stand next to my computer that I'll refer to now here our potential net is 10,000 a week within 30 weeks traders number one you focus on one good trade at a time unfortunately traders become overwhelmed because they're looking at too many setups they're looking at counter trend change of trend as well as with trend uh, and they're thinking all right I need to be doing 20 30 trades a day if you've been struggling it's the wrong way to approach it trading is 90% psychology if you can do it once you can do it again and again and again meaning we go for the top priority trades the 80 to 90 percent plus trades and we build from there here's the bottom line and this spreadsheet by the way with is on Excel when you become a member you also get this so you can play around with this so taking seventeen hundred dollars and targeting fifty dollars a day now we're not we're only trading one contract we it takes us 10 weeks before we start trading two now by week 30 that is we're leaving our money in there and every time we get another 1700 we start trading another we're on our ten thousand dollars a week by week 30 now let me just point this out this is on 44 micro contracts what you would be doing well, what I'd recommend you do every time you get to 10 micros you consider going to the large contract so the experienced traders watching this I know that you're going to get massive slippage say on the micro NQ with 44 contracts say with the market order however what we do is we then go to a large contract okay so once you've got 17,000 in your account you can go to a big contract and so you're trading both and so there's a whole strategy within that so we can see we're up to 10 within 30 weeks with only a $1,700 account all you've got to do and I'll show you how to do it in a month, is 50 a day now what if you go to 75 a day okay once again you can you focus on one trade once you've done that trade you then start focusing on another then another then another the same rules and you apply that now what it comes down to within 19 weeks we're up to the potential there of our 10,000 a week that's on only $75 and I'll show you how to do that and let's just go for those young guns we both the men and women uh, I'm 60 by the way um, uh, I'm a very young 60 but I don't want to sit in front of a computer six to eight hours a day now you may have to do that at times to achieve 100 a day but it's extremely achievable as you're about to see on that base you're up there if you're achieving per micro 100 a day you're up at your ten thousand dollars a week within 13 weeks but look at your capital base growing okay look at that uh, over here within 35 weeks if you were and I cut this off at 100 micros uh, and or 50,000 a week and by the way before the skeptics and I should really point it point this out the sign of an intelligent person traders is how open they are to new ideas it doesn't mean you don't verify the ideas but you're at least open minded to the possibility here you wouldn't be trading the 100 uh, micro contracts you'd be trading 10 big contracts which is it's a drop in the bucket right so for the skeptic saying oh you could never place a hundred trade well yes you can but you get a lot of slippage um, even if you're using a limit order so what you'd be doing every time you got to 10 you consider flipping over or well, once maybe you got to 20 trading larger contracts okay now let's go to the charts right so let's go and have a look at how we're going to do this now I'm just pulling up my chair now um, I've got a standing desk in case when you buy your computer uh, trading it really pays you to invest in a standing desk it really does so that just pull my chair up then so let's now go to one of the charts here 
now first of all I'm just going to give you a couple of examples so we're not going for hours and hours here uh, so what we're looking at traders this is the uh, US time I'm filming filming this in Australia at the moment so it's the 21st of the 7th uh, of July US time all right so this is also the Globex market now don't be fooled by the Globex market so the market closes and reopens at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time after hours train a market can be great a great training ground for new traders or struggling traders just there are some hiccups on that such as volume or, or margin requirements you're well and truly covered if you've allowed your seventeen hundred dollars remember you could allow that anyway to stay within the two percent rule you can do it a bit less as you were as I'll explain in a moment so what we're looking at is a Renko chart as I also said you can use any sort of chart okay you can use time tick but once you start trading professionally many so many of my traders now move away from time base and I'll go to tick or maybe a volume and particularly Renko because Renko is a much smoother way of trading so this is the Globex open now let's mainly focus here on the legitimate uh, to be trades that every trader would pick we've got a number of other uh, uh, trades here that um, an experienced trader would romp right such as we've got a t20-1 here which is also a 34 big they kick butt every day but let's just talk about one specific setup that kicks butt day in day out it's easy to learn first of all these are called Renko charts this is a very large Renko brick and, and they call them bricks I just usually call them uh, candles or whatever but this is a four pointer which means that every one of these is 16 ticks now see the white paint bar here this is a pattern that appears and yes if you I've got the this particular indicator for ninja trader 7 and 8 I've got it for a version of it for MT4 um, I've got it of course for trade station and that's all included uh, if you've got a platform that I don't have it for it's a very once you understand what it is it's a very easy pattern and you know what it is okay so why that white paint bar now that white paint bar does not plot until I get an uptick above that second candle okay so there and there so that, see I got an uptick there but it becomes disqualified I'm looking for my three higher closes now each one of these steps see what those little steps between each one each one of those on this particular size uh, Renko is worth four dollars an actual fact let me show you this uh, we're on the micro now what I actually do in my program I, I teach you what time frames to use for an example this particular week we've got the earnings season and mostly Nasdaq stocks coming out so you spot we're finding some extra volume and volatility so you might want to use what I call a four point or a 16 tick stop now what it means is there when we go back to it my risk is going to be $25 per trade the low of a time frame the low of the risk but the low of a time frame the more noise okay so I give you these for each of the key markets so we've got it for trading if you're trading the micro ES and or if you're trading the Nasdaq okay and I've got got it for other markets as well and also of course for the big contracts but for the sake of this example we're looking at 16 ticks and offsets and whatever don't worry about what that means for now but ideally we want a minimum of seven steps and I'll show you what that is now that's twenty eight dollars take away your commission with of worst case it's going to be two dollars you if you're with an expensive broker but there's some brokers like you've got um, uh, particularly you've got people like amps and by the way I'm broker neutral so I'm not recommending any specific broker here but we've got um, whoops I just want to expand that there we go but you've got amps you've got uh, ninja trade is very very competitive I'm with trade station been with them since for, for many many years so you're going to be well under your two dollars so we want a minimum of seven steps if you're trading multiple contracts I love to hear the cash register ring so you might take say five or as you build your, your account off take some off at 20 
okay uh, five steps and totally cover your risk which is $25 so where is that here see your risk over there $25 seven steps will do that so let's have a look at this what we've got here traders let's just go over here is I have three time frames okay now as I mentioned if you're a brand new trader you cut it down to only using two what we want to be doing is trading in the direction of the higher time frame and I won't go into all our little secrets and there is a couple of little things here but you'll discover a few things here that you know you go aha I see what he's doing because that kicks butt okay like today just on this market alone today there was 43 trades and if you just took every single one and there are times when you don't take them some really obvious reasons but if you just took every 2b there were 43 of them today and you had a 73 percent win-loss ratio uh, of five steps or more now one two three four five six seven so you can see here you got plenty of room for slippage here's another one of seven steps all right so that there after your commissions is uh, what's that that's $52 there minimum forgetting about trailing and whatever now remember that table I showed you back there let's just um, go back to that so going on 50 okay and if you just start off with 1700 and you just leave your account there within week 30 you're financially independent the rest of your life now what makes this so unique well all you're doing here is trading with the trend in the direction of the higher time frame now we do use um, see these dots here you learn what they are but they they don't have any bearing real bearing on the trend following trades here okay so don't get lost in some of these indicators and I actually should have switched a few off I can be a bit distracting here but here is that there and that there this one is there and there so these are what we call two and three B's then we do have what we call a t20 which is a real kick butt strategy and it puts you into the, a new trend very very early but I'm going to show you just one thing here which which actually set up uh, just after I finish a coaching session today and members that are watching this I told members I was going to do this um, you'll see this and we'll talk about this tomorrow but here's what we call a 2d now a 2d is where we have double divergence I'm just going to do this here okay where I've got double divergence I've got slight divergence there a lot more extreme divergence there and when I've got a t19 this specific type of divergence trade it kicks butt and look at this bang now that took sort of like about half an hour but then it took off right down here and members in the room what's it now setting up watch it's going to set you up with a t19 just here now what you've got to be very aware of traders when you start trading divergence okay it's a little bit like many times stepping in front of a freight train you've got to be very very careful with that and there are specific things for an example when you only have divergence on your lowest time frame you'll get your smallest move generally moving the higher the time frame the greater the divergence the greater the move okay like right here on this particular one let me look at this here now I do have slight divergence here but this is really a t19 this is a lower probability move and I wouldn't be surprised if we ended up uh, for members watching this with a 2b up here now just getting back to this you had a with trend trade seven plus steps there seven plus seven plus now this one is a 34b okay but the 34b and and that was a counter trend 34b which we'll ignore for now but just trading with the trend so the real secret traders to successful trading is to trade with the trend using higher time frames now this business traders is 90% psychology you've got to learn how to trade without fear you see trading is all about a state of mind 
when you learn to think in probabilities that your fear will go away and that's a huge thing that I really push in teaching members how to trade is to lose the fear of probability that is sorry but the fear of trading through probabilities and that's very very important let's just look at a couple of other markets now with this here in the globex session it slowed right down there the globex session has now been open uh, gee whiz for six or seven hours so what you do if the market is too slow you lower the time frame I've dropped that down to a three-point Renko there once again you can be using ticks and if you're wondering what these little black dots these are what I call a rule of one uh, but um, so with this particular one with a six tick sorry a three point uh, one here each one of these steps is um, what is it three dollars each okay remember you only need 50 a day to make a fortune in this business and you simply start increasing the number of contracts now for our big contract traders let's have a look at the uh, at the ES a direct ES contract so what we're looking at here is a two tick Renko now what that means is that each one of these green bars is worth $25 the big contract on the ES is $12.50 and for traders that uh, trade Forex you can just do exactly the same thing using Renko charts on Forex or you can use tick charts of course you can't use volume but you can still use tick charts or time based charts the patterns are the same now each one of these steps that you see here is worth $12.50 okay now if you're trading uh, the ES right now the overnight margin for most brokers is around the uh, I think it's nine thousand dollars at the moment and the reason being the overnight margins or the margins overall are set by the exchange so your broker will ask you yes they have the day trading margins but why a high margin during the globex session during after hours it's because you don't have the volume okay but with this let's just have a look at how you would have gone so far today so let's just go back to the open of the market all right so I know there's going to be members um, watching this so uh, and I don't want to get caned by them because they'll be in the room tomorrow now the market opens uh, the ES opens at 1700 Central Standard Time okay which is that time just there so let's just have a look uh, right there okay usually you don't get a trade for the first uh, five to ten minutes now remember what we're looking at doing is trading with the trend okay that's very very important and here I'm looking at three higher closes so here I'm going along here three minutes now I also I've got a trade potential there three minutes after the market opens but I'm not really happy and this is what you'd be looking at on the right hand side because I know where on says well look it's easy now but um, what's the direction of the trend on the higher time frames it's heading up okay it's heading up so you did have a t20 just there if you don't take that here is your next one right here that's our next trade is right there so let me scroll that back there see that there this is what we call a 2b the 2b's kick butt if you're if you trade it correctly you should be up there at around 80 to 85 percent win loss ratio and you can see here with the 2b's you'll get some really good runners now we then get a nice runner you can trail using and this little thing here is an ATR you can trail using moving averages um, just by pullbacks by um, lower closes etc and that right there is another rule of one see to see you've actually got an entry now when you become a member and I'll just put up the rule of one here um, uh, it's a very very uh, where are we Where's my rule of one uh, here we go rule of one indicator um, you once again I teach you what these are but rule of one very very simple to learn uh, it's a trend following strategy now we now rise up here let me scroll this over here okay now here we've got on the ES now this is a two tick Renko all right so here the market's been open an hour 
very very tradable I look at this here note the divergence here see that there now look over here this is what you'd be looking at on your anchor chart this is called your AC one anchor chart one no divergence okay but on anchor chart two, look at that okay that is what we call a 2d t19 they kick butt okay we want to take that with a target of down here yes you get some stair stepping and for the members watching this yes you know what that is that's a t10 to the short side t10s we get um, virtually after every t um, uh, 2d and it bounces and the terms I'm using uh, once again you've got complete cheat sheets and whatever you start with these once you're experienced trading your ruler ones your 34 B's then you can start doing your divergence trades but I just wanted to show you that now we then come down now see this here this is the old slingshot strategy it's been around for years kicks butt there's your nice little scalp down your pivot level now we get back and and by the way if you're trading with the trend you would not have taken that trade because the rule is that trade or potential trade there which is right there is it in the direction of the overall trend no this is notice we now get a crane candle here and there is our entry when you've got a deep pullback you wait for the first brick or candle to close on your anchor chart and away we go let's just talk targets by the way just while we're on and where's my stock go it's one tick below now on the two tick Renko and this is in your cheat sheets a two tick Renko um, I've got them on my board I've actually pulled my boards down here so a two tick Renko you've got an eight tick stop if you use a buy stop so if you go and place your stop loss one tick below there and use a buy stop one tick above rather than the market order you've got an eight tick stop which is $100 now you can get in earlier and when get as little as a six tick stop okay which is $75 but that is now a 2b again so you had one there thank you very much and you've now got another one and our target in each case is eight ticks eight ticks we romp it in and there is a re-entry okay there you get you might go to break even at five uh, and there one now there we didn't get to break even till above here so we romped our eight ticks in here now and I will finish up here I'm just for the experienced members in the room or sorry not in the room but watching this see this little this is what we call a big picture double top now you may look at this and say it's not, it's not an exact double top it's lower if it looks like a duck quacks like a duck it's a duck okay it's within a couple of ticks so it's not too bad at all and so the dead giveaway that you've got a little uh, a little double top there is when you look at the divergence on your higher time frames okay look at that and look at that thank you very much now where's my entry on the close of a third candle my stops one tick above and I'm after a minimum of eight ticks now you also obey support and resistance levels okay so if you come down and you've only got five ticks uh, and this is where on many markets you'll hear me say we go for five ticks which is 62.50 per contract on the ES on your first lot of contracts lock that in then your second lot then you go to break even become a free trade and you're already in the money because right there we've now got what we call a 2BD right there okay so see that there the white paint bar my entries on the close and where am I targeting where was the last previous swing high there it is there okay so we're targeting that as a minimum all right and it actually then forms a little double top again now what do I have I've now got a double top with triple divergence and bang down we go thank you very much and there's another entry just there by the way that's what we call a 200b what you'll notice is that bounce watch what happens over here we come down okay 
all right and I've got a bounce it's a little bit until you know what these all are but I've now got a bounce and that is what we call a 2b just there thank you very much and see that there and just there traders these patterns appear on all markets and time frames they're geometric they're fractal in nature the pattern that we have appear on the highest time frame the exact same pattern appears here just in a smaller version and when you start to study fractals and Bill Williams from profitunity made um, uh, the trade trading chaos book quite famous covering fractals in trading it's it, it may sound like rocket science but it ain't these black uh, dots you can forget all of those what you're looking at here is just looking at trading in the direction of the higher time frame and over a period of time once you're consistently profitable of trading with the trend that's where we then introduce and you start taking the CT trades but there's some additional rules I'm just waiting to get up here with counter trend trades what are they number one do you have angulation angulation is where you see price angling away like this remember that the larger the divergence the higher the probability of a trend of a trend change or a decent retracement or pullback especially when you've got that move on your anchor charts okay now look at that one just there see that move there look over here let's just go to this high here there it is just there now you look at this and you may say well look this stuff all it's starting to roll over where can you see divergence okay now from there to there now I use actually uh, what we call a zero lag MACD and uh, traders I'll give you the settings to use on a standard MACD okay we just fine-tune a standard MACD so it's it's um, over a much shorter time period so there is divergence it's not great but it is divergence but look at this here on the highest time frame see how I've got a higher high on price and a lower high okay when you get that that's one of these golden trades where your target is going to be down here at the purple line here and bang we come down and hit it and notice how you get a bounce there you get a bounce there okay traders these are all patterns and and really trading is nothing more than a pattern solving exercise so in summary and I've gone eight minutes over for 30 minute video first of all you want to learn to trade one to two setups only what's that one thing okay remember curly out of a movie city slick as he sits back and sits the Mitch um, uh, which is Billy, Billy Crystal he turns around and he said basically do you know what the meaning of life is no what is it? he said one thing he holds up his finger one thing he says Mitch says your finger no that's what you've got to find out what that one thing is you discover what that one thing is the rest don't mean shit that's what he said in the movie when it comes to mastering the art of day trading the one thing for you to do really the one thing is learning to trade with the trend in actual fact Gary Keller wrote an excellent book called the one thing and in there um, you really they really are there's the one thing in lots of areas of our life just like in trading the one thing when it comes to money management you never risk more than two percent as your account goes grows you pull that you reduce that the one thing initially is you must learn to trade with the trend and you only trade with the trend etc so these are little things that you learn but the big thing is in mastering the art of day trading either you but it's been tough for you up to now or you're looking at mastering it now is you must treat this as a third really it really is a 90 to 180 day internship traders trust me this ain't rocket science okay it really isn't rocket science but what it is it's about taking the time and going through with what we call deliberate practice marking up your charts you know I can give you the world's best setups but what I can't give you is what we call 
screen time you've got to spend the time on the screens the trade is the carry on and say strategies don't work do you know what I've got to say there are literally dozens of strategies out there dozens of them in fact and um, in fact I teach you quite a few double tops double bottoms fractal trend line breakouts because I've got a lot of um, professional traders so pros tend to want to know the works give me the works okay and so over time particularly in my coaching room that they pick this up yeah I should point out once you join for only $97 a month 97 a month you can attend the eight uh, live two-hour sessions a month where we go through trades of the day step by step and I will save it everything's already in the day traders fast track program for 197 you don't have to attend the coaching but as I mentioned I've got over 200 uh, traders in there each and every month and they're there for a reason because they understand the importance of really honing their skills on an ongoing basis but anyway um, I've gone too long so traders um, uh, go back if you wish watch this video again uh, but but really trading with the trend and for $197 is over 200 hours of online video instruction no you don't have to watch all 200 hours um, uh, but you focus on the two and I teach you and show you what those two are and you build from there that's enough all right traders thanks very much um, I hope to see you as a member even better still in the coaching room uh, and uh, oh and I should also say please subscribe to my channel don't forget to do that if you want to email me directly you can trader at I'm a day trader better still visit my website become a member thank you traders <laughs>